I love mushrooms. So let's model a mushroom in Blender. Delete the default cube, add a UV sphere. Give it 64 segments and 32 rings. Shade it smooth, my man. In edit mode with x-ray on, select almost all of the bottom vertices and delete them. Next we want to add a subdivision surface and a displace modifier. If you click here, it will take you to the textures tab. We want to use a cloud texture for this. You can set the size anywhere from 4 to 5. Go back to the displace modifier. You want to change the coordinates to global. Now when you move it around, the displacement is random based upon where the object is in the world. Go to edit mode. In top view, select all of the edge loops. Deselect the two central rings. With x-ray turned on, deselect the whole bottom section as well. Duplicate these and part by selection. Go into edit mode on the edges we duplicated. Select them all, duplicate them again, and rotate them until they're in between the ones we currently have. Give the cap some thickness with the solidify modifier. 0 0.025 should be enough. And give it a subdivision surface afterwards, just to smooth everything out. Add a Bezier curve. Tab into edit mode and press GX1 to move the first vertice to the origin point. Rotate on Y by 90 degrees and then on Z by 90 degrees. Go back to object mode and increase the resolution of the curve. Pose it like a mushroom stem. Go to the curve options and give it bevel. If we tab back into edit mode now and select one of the vertices, pressing Alt S, we can now scale the bevel on each vertice. Go back to object mode, move the mushroom cap and gills up to the top of the curve. Make sure they're centered. Select everything and press Shift D to duplicate it. Move it off to the side. This will be our base. Now apply all of the modifiers to the gills. Tab into edit mode, select everything and extrude down on Z. It doesn't matter how far you go. Once you have it there, with the bottom of the gills still selected, scale them on the Z axis and then pull them back up until they fit just under the cap. Staying in edit mode, scale everything so it fits neatly inside of the cap. Add a solidify modifier to this and a subdivision surface and we're done with the gills. Now our mushroom's starting to take shape, so let's get to texturing. For the mushroom cap, I used this texture from textures.com and for the stem, I used this texture I found on Google. Give the cap a material. Bring your texture in and connect it to the base color. In edit mode, press U to unwrap and just unwrap. In the UV editor, scale and move the vertices around so they fit on the mushroom. I'm noticing that there is some baked lighting from the image, so I'm going to scale it down a bit more to get rid of that. Add a sun lamp and go into rendered mode. To get a clearer idea of how the textures are looking, make the world black. Give the mushroom subsurface scattering. Plug the mushroom texture into the subsurface color. Play with the subsurface radius until everything seems to be working. I find that making all three 0.5 seems to work nicely. Play with the amount of subsurface until you're happy. Duplicate the texture. On the texture beside the name, press the number 2. This has now created a new instance of that texture. Change it to non-color. Bring in a bump map and connect the color to the height. Plug that to your normal and now you get some bump from the image. Play with the strength and distance until you're happy. Bring in a color ramp. Plug the texture into the color ramp and the output of the color ramp into the roughness. You can change the roughness by either bringing up the black on the color ramp or bringing down the white, or both. Play around to see what works best for you. I ended up adding sheen to the texture. Okay, now the cap's looking really nice. Select the stem, give it a material and drop in your texture. Select the texture in the UV editor. If we tab in, you can see that it's still a curve, so we need to convert to mesh. So select it, right click and convert to mesh. Select a vertical edge loop, press U and mark it as a seam. Select the opposite one and again mark it as a seam. Now select everything and press U to unwrap. In the UV editor, align the two sections of the texture. One of them needs inverted. To do this, you want to scale it on X by negative one. Using proportional editing, align the vertices with the texture and you're done. In the shader editor, repeat the same process we used for the cap until you're happy with the look of the stem. You can use photos for reference. Give the gills a material. Bring in a noise texture and plug it into the base color. Add a color ramp, bring the white down to a gray. Give the noise texture object coordinates and play with the values until you're happy. Put the roughness up slightly and give it some subsurface scattering. I wasn't happy with my mushroom cap, so I went back, brought in an add shader and a translucent shader. I added the color to the translucent and it gave me a really nice result. Do the same on the stem. Add a color ramp between the texture and the translucent to better refine its effects. I wasn't happy with how thick my stem was. In edit mode, I just turned on proportional editing and scaled down the top and bottom slightly. 
Duplicate the three parts of the mushroom. Apply the modifiers to the cap and move them off to the side. Scale it down, move it down. Rotate it slightly. In edit mode, with proportional editing turned on, play with the stem to get a new variation. Line up the cap and gills again and scale them on Z. Smaller mushrooms have more conical caps, so this looks accurate. On the first mushroom, apply all the modifiers again, select it all, duplicate it off to the side again. For an older mushroom, you want to flatten the cap and the gills. So scale them on Z and then scale it up. This is how you can make some easy variation. Again, play with the stem to get more variation. Larger mushrooms will have a thicker stem to support them, so it's a good idea to scale them up. And there we have it, we've modeled three mushrooms. To create my final scene, I brought in some assets from Quixel Megascans, placed the mushrooms where I wanted them, I then went into edit mode, selected all the parts with moss, and added lots of small grass particles. I also added some twigs to these parts of the stumps. Using volumetrics and HDRI and playing with the composition, this was my final result. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial.